Maybe you're building up your own art business and looking for a good gallery to show your work. For some of us, this is the hardest part. But I think it's an essential part. From the moment I see my painting in a frame, I see definitely if the painting is good or not. But that's what I see. Showing your work brings the opportunity to see your creation through others' eyes. Maybe it's comparable to writing that important email. When it's written, you think it's clear and you couldn't say better. But when you send it to a friend and you read it again in the send folder, you still find some weak points in the message and you will be lucky that the message wasn't sent to the recipient yet. Showing your art is an essential part in the process. It's the easiest way to reflect on what you've been doing. And then we don't speak yet about new possibilities that will come by showing your work, making new friends, organizing new exhibitions, projects, collaborations and of course selling the work. In this video I will tell you my experiences on contacting new galleries and share some advice. Maybe it's helpful. And then I take you to a new gallery I'm visiting to show my recent paintings and meet the gallery owner. Contacting a new gallery can be quite humiliating. I am framing uh, recent works now and I will uh, visit another gallery this week. And I thought it could be a nice opportunity to speak about this and maybe it helps you and it feels you more comfortable to try this. Um, First, I must admit that uh, the work, the, the galleries I'm working together with, um, the most of them are the galleries who asked me if I could have a show there and be part of their show, and they work really well. We work very well together. But the galleries I asked in the past, <laughs> it's more difficult. So. Uh, and it's just because I entered this gallery once as an artist and I asked them if I could do something with them. No, I can't. That's always the answer. Always. Um, so maybe you are a genius and then it's really easy to enter all these galleries. But in my feeling is that even when you are Leonardo da Vinci, they won't recognize you. They only see not a new client entering, but I immediately see another artist with the same question. Um, the first two things I always want to have clear for myself is um, why I want to work with this gallery. Um, I think it's a fact these days that most art is sold online. So uh, I want to make sure that this gallery is doing really well online and if they don't uh, then I check where their gallery is located. Um, maybe a gallery is nothing else than a shop, a shop selling art. And when this shop is located somewhere in a center uh, where the right people meet and I mean with the right people, the art buyers, then this shop is really well located and it could be an honor to show your work over there. Um, and the second important thing is that um, I choose this gallery because I see my paintings as a family, as a part of a family. I mean, when I enter another gallery and I feel that my part of family will feel at home at this huge family, then I will feel at home there as well. And then it feels easier for me to have a chat with this new gallery owner because he won't or she won't be surprised that I ask this. Um, they will maybe even know my work, maybe, and if not, um, there is a chance that I like it. But even then, um, for me, it's not easy to start a conversation with a new gallery owner. Um, I think another advice is the question, why should you do this? Um, sometimes I, I check the website and then I recognize two or three artists I know. 
I, I don't know them very well, but I just we know each other. That's enough. And then we can have a coffee together somewhere. And then I start talking about this gallery. And well, to be honest, I would like to have a show over there as well. Could we do something together? And then if they want to do this for you, they can start talking about you and your work and introduce you in this gallery. That's much easier and maybe a better way than to do it yourself. Um, another advice is uh, very important. Don't make the pressure too high. So, uh, as I said, I'm working, I think, with six galleries in this country. So, this week, contacting a new gallery uh, is not very hard because um, it's not the only gallery. I d I'm not obsessed by this gallery. Um, if you are these days um, contacting your first gallery, a new gallery, I think you first should try to find another one or maybe two or three. So the pressure is not too high. Um, make sure that there are a lot of other things for you to do in your art business and contacting this art gallery is only one of those. Uh, they will see this. They, they will see you are calm, easy. Um, another advice is um, try to make sure what the, when the time is right to do this. Uh, take the time. Uh, don't be disappointed when they just let you go because um, you never know when there will be written an article about a project you're doing and you will be covered in a newspaper uh, or a host of a podcast, a famous podcast, ask you for an interview. I don't know, something else. Uh, make sure that this is the time you contact this new gallery maybe a week earlier or a week later. So when they see your face in the, in the newspaper, they will say, hey, I met this guy last week in my gallery. Um, and maybe there, there, there isn't happening anything later, but when they meet you another day at an art fair, for example, then you have a subject to talk about together. And who knows? Who knows? But don't forget it's 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 hard it's humiliating and um but maybe it's important it's important i think because um you want to show your work and uh not only by yourself but the people who found you on the web uh, it's good that they see your work is sold at several galleries through the country or maybe the world as well that, that's good. Um, I think the last advice I could give for now is that um, take care that uh, everything about you could be found on the web. So before you enter this gallery, make sure, of course, that your website is up to date. Um, because I don't know about you, but I'm not that kind of guy who starts talking immediately about all those famous collections and huge commissions I'm doing and I just want to show my work and if they are interested and they find you on the web then they should see everything what you're doing and all these all these things you're proud of uh, they must see this on your website social media everywhere I would like to start a conversation about my work, not about me. I'm only finding out if my paintings shoot this gallery and I could need some help by the gallery owner. A chat is only possible if it comes spontaneously. Starting a conversation with a message, a wish, an expectation is the opposite. And that's exactly my experience by these kind of conversations which I don't have regularly. I don't like to act, I'm not a role in some kind of movie. I only can be honest and transparent. So, two weeks earlier, I had a conversation in another gallery saying that I knew gallery owners hated to have those new artists in the gallery trying to show the work. I apologized and told them that for me it was the same. 
I hate that too. But I said there were still several reasons for doing it. Then we had a good chat, but in the end he said, We don't show watercolor paintings, I'm sorry, only oil paintings. He hasn't seen any of my paintings yet. We will meet another day. Today I will meet the owner of Gallery Bonnard in the south. Again, it's not about me, it's about my paintings. When I want to receive some useful comment on my paintings, I keep a certain distance first. These are paintings, not my children. Although I made these paintings, I don't feel like my children. There are too much paintings to call them my children. Maybe it feels like I'm the orphan house owner and ask if you could please adopt some sweet kids. They need a home. They are a part of a family and need a home. It's funny, uh, 10 years ago, our first child was born, uh, our oldest son, around 5 a.m. Uh, you get a lot of phone calls then, and one of those phone calls was a man, and he told me he was starting a new gallery, and he asked me if I was able to show some pictures there at an exhibition. And I said, well, I'm sorry, I just got a child. He was born this morning and I'm, I'm, it's, weird. it's a weird day. I'm tired, I'm in a rush, but I will call you back. I will call you back. That's what I said. I forgot this. I never called him back and I never thought about it anymore. Um, and several years later, I found an article in the newspaper. I read about a, a new gallery showing paintings from artists I knew with, um, well, some kind of same style as mine. And I was really surprised. I thought, why didn't they ask me? Uh, so I went there, I entered this gallery, and the first, first thing I told them was, why didn't you ask me for this gallery? I was joking, of course, but, but the, the message was clear. And then I was so surprised, one of them said, well, I ask you. I ask you, I, I, we had a phone call. I said, no, I think you, you're, th you're talking about someone else. It was not me. No, no, it was you. It was you. You just got your first child several years ago already. And then after years, I remember this phone call. It was so funny. Um, and then we had a chat and in the end, I promised to come back with 10 or 20 paintings, which I forgot too. I'm busy and I didn't think about it anymore. Today, 10 years later, after this phone call, I went there with 10 or 20 paintings, I don't know. And it was nice. Um, gallery owners are always in a hurry. I mean, they're busy. There are phone calls, there are clients, there are things to do. Um, and today this owner was, was busy too, but it, when there was time, he took the time. He made me feel very comfortable and we had a good chat and he selected um, 
seven paintings, the larger ones as well. And, and they are fast. He invited me for an exhibition already in December. I didn't expect this. So I'm really surprised. And I'm able to do one of my lectures over there as well. Uh, so this, this was really nice. It was a good, a good day. Daar kun je een, een, uh, iets mee maken waarop je je boel presenteert. Ja. Je kunt uh, je laptop nemen en gewoon dat ding naast je neerzetten, denk ik. Hè? Mm -hmm. Dus dat je zowel direct aankijkt als dat je je ja. scherm moet laten zien aan de, de mensen. Dus uh, als dit klaar is, dan kan je het uh, met uh, silicone insmeren. Dan ja. maak je een bal en dan kan je het gieten. Ja. Geef net iets meer. Ja, weet niet. Ja, nee, dat weet ik gewoon. Ja. Zonder te doen. Nou, dit is zo naast je gestaan. Dan kan je hier je link geven. Ja. 